Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. If you're able to gather with family and friends safely to celebrate, no party is complete without guacamole. Unless you have that rare thing where it tastes like soap to you, I'm glad that it doesn't to me, okay? Where do you find the best avocados and how do you know when they're just perfect? Joining me live from DC to offer some professional pointers is Chef Patty Henich, the star of Patty's Mexican Table on PBS. I am so glad to see you this morning and I'm so glad that I don't have that gene that people say makes that cilantro taste like soap because I love to put a ton in my guacamole. Tell us first of all though, how do you score a prime avocado? I know, <laughs> and it's so funny you say that about cilantro because you can make guacamole and use avocado with a thousand other ingredients. So nice to talk to you and lovely to connect today. So in order to get a really good avocado, all you need to do is look for the avocados from Mexico brand because their avocados are always fresh, always delicious, always in season. They bloom four times a year, which means that you have a fresh ripe avocado from Mexico every single day available in the store. And then you go to the store, you grab them. If they're green and hard, it means they're not yet ripe. Mm -hmm. You can bring them home, you know, just take like two to three days for them to ripen. If you want to speed the ripening process, you put them next to a banana and an apple. Mm. If you put them in a paper bag, it'll, they'll speed even faster, like one to two days. But if you want to eat them right away, look for one that has the skin that's already black. And when you hold the avocado, it gives a gentle hold. Like your fingers don't go all the way in, but it's like a nice gentle hold. You know the avocado is ready for you. Bring it home. It'll give you two, three days until you can eat it, and it'll give you more days if you put it in the refrigerator. There's so nothing. It's just a matter of look and feel. Yeah, there's no nothing worse than thinking that you have a good one though, and then you you open it up and it's black, and you're like, no, I can't make my guacamole. Give me one of your favorite recipes. Oh my gosh, we have so many to share today. We have so many fresh ones. Um, we have a dill pickled guacamole. Now that dill is stepping up to the scene, everybody's giving it so much love. And this is a guacamole that you make by lightly pickling cucumbers with uh, cumin seeds, dill seeds, coriander seeds, mustard seeds. Oh, wow. Very easy to make. It's crunchy with a cucumber. Mm. It mixes beautifully with a soft avocado. We have another guacamole that is a three chile spiced up guac, where we are gonna use not only jalapeño, but jalapeño, serrano, Anaheim, a dash of cayenne pepper. I love it that people are feeling so comfortable with chiles right now. So not only using jalapeño, if you find a habanero, like you can throw it in there too. And then we also have some great recipes for either snacks or big bites. We have some quesadillas with mm. pulled pork where you cook pork mm. in kind of a sloppy yeah. joe kind of a way with yeah. mango and habanero you can use any other chile once it cooks it shreds you tuck it into some flour tortillas with brie cheese or any melty cheese of your choice it's really savory sweet filling delicious um, and then we have some taquitos, some chicken taquitos that rather than just having chicken inside, yeah. they have a layer of refried beans, melted cheese, chicken, and to play with the avocado, mm. instead of doing guacamole on this one, we used an avocado crema where you just puree or blend or oh. mash ripe avocado with Mexican crema or cream cheese. Pat so it's nice, creamy and delicious. Oh. So there's so many ways to go We're gonna, with avocado and guac for single. Patty, I'm getting the wrap. Day. I'm getting the wrap, Patty, but thank you. We have really enjoyed um, the recipes and listening to you <laughs> this morning. Um, it was a pleasure to meet you. Yes, All from avocados from Mexico that come for more. Okay, we got them. For more information, head to fox59.com slash links avocados. Mm, I've got a recipe for you. I Cilantro, lemon, lime, red onion, maybe a little bit of tomato, coarse salt and again squeeze just the right amount of lemon and lime to your boom. tasting boom boom Mash it up. cilantro like crazy you throw any jalapeno in there yes a little, little bit of a little heat you know little, little jalapeno heat lots of cilantro Can I